So five months ago, I uploaded a video entitled Aimbot in Rust Console. Now, a lot of you didn't believe what I was showing you to be Aimbot. And well, there's been a huge development in people creating a system for it to be able to unlock Aimbot within the game Rust Console. All of this information has been supplied by one user and they've wanted to remain anonymous for this video in which I'm going to accept that. So first and foremost, let's talk about Aimbot within Rust specifically. Now we've only known Aimbot to be within the PC version of Rust. This includes literal Aimbot, locking onto player models, wall hacks. Those are the sort of things we're gonna be talking about within this new quote unquote plugin for Rust Console. All we've known to be in terms of hacking or cheating with Vision Rust Console is Zim and Zen. Zim being able to play on mouse and keyboard and Zen basically having a script to do the recall for you although it still does bounce. It's not quote unquote aimbot. And at this point, nothing surprises me anymore with this community and the game itself. People will strive to be just unstoppable within this game, no matter how much it costs. Now this user came forward to me and said, this piece of software is called computer vision. Now if I'm right in looking at the same description as the one he referred to, this computer vision aimbot provides character detection and target for video games that use humanoid character models. This aimbot approach is targeted at cloud hosted games as they are immune to traditional cheats. Traditional cheats require access to client side process memory, object code and network traffic. With cloud hosted games that user has no way to tamper with the internals of the game. This project is mainly a proof of concept as the computational requirements and level of performance renders this approach infeasible. For an overview of how this aimbot functions, and it goes to see a specific file. Now I have to be careful with this type of video. I do not want to promote such acts within gaming and specifically within Rust console. However, I want to conduct this video in a way that I'm showing you that this is possible. And if anyone can share this to D11 or anyone regarding the devs who work on this game, they need to know this as soon as possible. This is what the user sent me in regards to video proof and as well descriptions surrounding this piece of software. It's a software that uses AI and pixel detection slash object detection in order to see where the player is and where to aim. Essentially, it will hacks and aimbot. It's used by connecting a capture card to your PC and your Xbox to read the screen of your Xbox and send it to the software on your PC so it can display the boxes around people and tell the PC where to aim. Uh, a lot of the reporting around this was just throwing buzzwords around. Machine learning is a subfield under artificial intelligence. Computer vision is a subfield under machine learning. It's not Skynet like a lot of articles make it seem. We'll break down computer vision, but first, the general idea behind the cheating setup was a console is connected to a capture card. That capture card sends a video signal to a PC that's running the program that uses computer vision. The program classifies objects on screens as enemies or not enemies, then does the math on the vector between the crosshair and the enemy. That data is then sent to a scripting device that can emulate a control the data is translated to controller input and your aim on console moves to the enemy. It wasn't walls, it didn't modify the console or use homebrew firmware to load code that would allow you to read data from the game's memory like you can on PC. Now, the thing about computer vision is that it's only as good as the model you use and the quality of data you use to train the model. Under the hood, it's all math. Misclassification of objects is pretty common even when CV is implemented well. Not to mention, every game that this could be implemented in is different. Games like Valorant have outlines around enemies, maps with little clutter, compared to Warzone where it's more difficult to see an enemy. There's objects like birds flying around. Effectiveness differs on the complexity of the frame being examined. It's not exactly plug and play or the first page of Google 30 second purchase 5 minute setup that all these skids on Warzone use. Now in the case of user vision, implementation at the time wasn't the best. Even against bots and hardcore on Cold War where it's easier to see enemies. Object detection seemed a little finicky. Overall, it seemed pretty crude. They got a cease and desist and ceased development, but it was only a matter of time before someone else came along. I wanted to challenge this kind of conversation and be like, so it's not aimbot to try and dig deeper into whether it is aimbot or not. The user says, no, it is aimbot and wall hacks. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. It's been sold currently for $50 per month in a discord server so clearly the authors of this software or coding whatever you want to call it are selling this for 50 dollars per month and this is something that's not even fully fledged refinished refined anything of that nature it's still pretty much an alpha 
were still in progress as this user would probably put it and yet that still doesn't stop people from buying such software even though it's not fully refined it just shows the dedication people put in to try and be the best so this user wanted to show me in the best possible way of how this aimbot or wall hack works on rust console as you can see you can tell it's not fully finished just yet there's still a bit of delay on tracking these players and the character models but as time progresses the ai is going to only get more intelligent with this so here's the screenshot that the user sent me the name comes up in a blue rectangular grid if you will and then the player model is in a red rectangular grid you have four basically camera arrows which i'm guessing will just help aid the ai into distinguishing the character models and things that it's programmed to do ultimately the video evidence i wanted to see was how it tracks and if this player is tracking it and just pre-recorded it and send it to me for a laugh or a joke for it to be uploaded and then everyone's just going to laugh at me about it or is this thing actually legit so he sent me this video where he's literally just aiming in and then the ai or whatever you will call it is then tracking the player he's just simply aiming in and this is auto aiming and auto tracking the player although it is delayed given that you will probably die a lot quicker using this software at its current state but this right here is really bad and scary almost like looking at how this works and how easy it seems to be tracking a player in such early stages of this software's existence this is going to be something that literally every comp player is going to use if they're able to this user carries on to say it's using ai and object detection so it screenshots the character model every time it detects it so the ai can learn basically learning the height the width of the character model the movements of the character model so it can then counter that consistently throughout your experience on the game so basically the more this user uses it the more data it's then feeding back to the ai to distinguish what the character model is the name and above the character model and it's moving and tracking but also have more video clips that he sent me in the background whilst i just talk over this the user expands on this by saying only when the player is visible to the ai but then again it learns over time and i'm pretty sure it's starting to predict where players are actually going to move it will predict the player's movements even before the player makes them. Do you know how disgusting this is going to be? Because AI is only getting smarter, not just in terms of the gaming industry and being able to do this such thing on games, but in general, in life, how more experienced, how way more intelligent AI is getting because of humans. The name of this product, because that would only drive traffic to them. This product popped up about a year ago, doing simple things like anti-recoil. But as time has gone on and they added more macro device type features, they of course implemented computer vision aim assist. It's the same idea as the user vision product I spoke about earlier, but further along in its development process. They're also working with another developer that's working on a similar project. They have different object detection models for different games, from gameplay taken from their discord and testimonials, it seems more refined and more accurate. Now, just like user vision, there's a pretty high barrier to entry. Other than a console or PC, you'll need a controller scripting device, a capture card, and another beefy PC as working with object detection at a high frame rate can be computationally intensive. And then you have to account for the subscription of said software. It adds up. Most people don't have the money or time to deal with setting something up like this and would rather cheat with typical software-based cheats that are more reliable or have more features. <laughs> They only have 500 members in their Discord, and out of those, about 100 are actually sub. So I wouldn't expect to see these users in your lobby. But here's what really worries me. They're working on lowering that barrier to entry, with Arduinos replacing the controller scripting device to allow for mouse and keyboard support, and with plans for their own device made for their specific product in the future. They're also looking at letting all this run on a single PC for PC players. So I pose the question, I'm guessing that this will get better as AI evolves. He says yes, much better. Once the devs receives more screenshots of the character models and gives it to the AI, it will become much stronger and more accurate. So let's talk about how does this thing actually work? What do you need for it to work? So I pose the question, damn, this only works if you have a PC and a capture card? He says yeah, and how well the cheat works depends on how good your PC is and how good the capture card is. If you have a shitty PC and a shitty capture card, it's not going to work very well compared to someone with a monster PC with the best capture card. So I then sent him my specs or general specs of my PC 
and my capture card and this will run pretty much seamlessly in the background so i could pretty much if i wanted to purchase this and then play it normally and there'll be no effects that will happen to me or the game so i pose the question if this has been run through the capture card will devs be able to combat this and he says to be honest i don't think they can i've seen other videos of this being used on youtube and i don't think they can other than being able to actually watch you because nothing is being modified on your xbox that's the key thing here for this software or for this aimbot in particular you're not actually using it on your console you're using it through your pc and capture card so the devs won't really know just like they know if let's put it this way let's put it in simple terms if they can't ban zim players for their movements or like unnatural controller movements on console or ban zen because there's literally a dot spray for the zen if they can't ban people over that and they need visual evidence they are 100 percent or let's say 95 percent not going to be able to ban people for this because they're literally guessing at this point he also added i forgot to mention you will need a chrono zen as well so the pc can send the moments to the controller so pretty much what you need is a capture card a really good PC and a really good capture card, a Zen and $50 spare per month that you will give to the developers of this. This right here, guys, is insane. And this is where we get to the conversation of Rust Console is going to be even worse than it already is than PC. The thing is with Rust Console, we've had the pointers of we have the recoil, whereas PC have pretty much no recoil or the shitty version of the recoil. And then we say, well, at least we don't have hackers in the game. And obviously PC do. And there's a lot of them there. Well, it's kind of catching up to the console lot now and the console community. The aimbot and wall hacks is going to eventually be a thing. And this is something D11 are going to have a very, very hard time coping with. I'm afraid to say, people, this could be... The beginning of the end for this game now i know i'll say that with anything surrounding rust console the updates community service is beginning of the end but this is a different type of problem it's one thing d11 being able to fix it with community servers and updates in general to make and have more content towards the game so content creators and players alike can just you know play it and have fun and then there's another thing being able to aimbot and know where someone's going to move even before they move and where they are in walls. This program is only gonna get better as time moves forward because AI is gonna get more experience in this and gonna get more intelligent. And with people pumping $50 to these people that are making it, we're gonna see some rapid growth with this throughout 2024. Again, if anyone can share this to D11, share this video talking about this such thing and the proof that I've supplied, again, thank you to the user that has given me all of this evidence, all of these video visual footage and their opinions on it. Let me know what you guys think down below. This uh, this is this is some really dangerous times we're, we're looking at now for, for the game. Thank you for watching as always. Links in the description for the Discord, my Twitter and my TikTok. The Discord as always is active. Feel free to join up both of our servers, the 5x solo quad and the 3x main clan server. Subscribe if you're new around here, like the video, that'd be greatly appreciated and I'll see you in the next one. Oh boy.